up front where uh, Doherty is uh, having a go at it with Schmidt. And this is uh, that top line for the Canucks. And uh, they'll look to get right at it. Keep this team off the score clock here. They've got a chance right away. There's a shot right on. It was Hipkin, and he gets stopped by Austin Dubinsky, who's getting the start tonight for the Storm. Casper now at the point. Fires the wrister, and that goes in. Dubinsky was uh, screened on that play by his own defenseman in a failed clearing attempt. And it's going to be Casper who fired that. I don't think it got tipped. We're going to have another look at it. But Casper just fired the floating wrist shot from the point. We see it here. Two Storm players looking to block. And I think that just went in. I don't think Dubinsky was able to see it as all as uh, Casper lets the wrister go. Battles down low, gets it to the point. Wilson fires it off the glass. Going after it is Bugera. Bugera with the wrist shot. He scores! As Caden Baguera picked that puck up in the offensive zone off of the bank pass off the glass, and he goes right to the net with it and uh, beats Spencer Borsos clean. No screen there. Borsos could see that shot. Baguera just wired it by him. Uh, maybe a bit of a screen there as we see uh, the Calgary defenseman just moved into the frame and maybe screened Borsos for a... He'll elude a hit at center ice. Now we have a two-on-one. Bracco in the middle of the ice. Good back check there. Bracco still gets the shot away. And Dubinsky with a good shoulder save on that high wrist shot. Puck now down low. There's a big stretch play by Dubinsky. And he got the pad on that scrambly draw there. And uh, Defense be darned, it's an offensive showcase here so far as we see Bracco with that opportunity. His stick was tied up, he was able to get it away, and then the puck got in low again. And Dubinsky made a very good pad save before he swallowed up the rebound. We see this play right here, and that's where Dubinsky comes out, makes the pad save, covers up. Grant Burry's gonna want to try to get the cycle play going now. Down low is Capetti to Corbet. Back up top to Strillitz. There's a shot. And it is a goal, Corbet! That shot from the point was tipped. I think that was Capetti that got a stick on it. And Corbet was Johnny on the spot. The big captain fires that puck home. And Grant Prairie have their first lead. As we see Borsos uh, just a bit out of position after that puck got tipped. And his momentum carried it, uh, carried him to the right side of the net. And it left a wide open cage for Corbet to fire that home. He made no mistake. And the Storm are up two to one. So Calgary on the power play, the first of the game for either team. And they'll have uh, ample opportunity. And they take advantage immediately, just three seconds in off the faceoff. And that took no time at all. Uh, the Canucks win the faceoff and a easy walk to the net. I believe that was Hipkin. Just yeah, walks to the net, goes through everybody. The crease, nobody's able to get a stick on it for Grand Prairie. Now Doherty to the point, one-time shot that gets blocked. Opportunity there, let's go! It's Peter Capetti. And Peter Capetti gets off the schneid here again as he's been looking for a goal in his last few games. And he's Johnny on the spot here as the McIlwain shot was blocked. Corbet was able to, I think, just chip that ahead a little bit. And it's gonna be Capetti picking it up and he fires the backhand or why or high and over top of the pad, and I think that's gonna be assist number two for Oakley McIlwain here tonight. Of the ice now, Marinkovic tries a pass. Wilson with a shot, and that gets picked up nicely by Borsos, who makes the blocker save on the ever-dangerous Zachary Wilson. There's a shot and a goal! Alex Atwill just as the penalty was about to expire. One second left to go on the penalty. 
early, so this will go as a power play marker for Alex Atwill. And the Storm have a two-goal lead with 14-19 to go here in the second. And a good shot there by Atwell. As we see, he just hangs on to the puck long enough to let the screen develop. Borsos could initially see it. Then Wilson comes across. Sutton follows him. Lewis see a body standing in front of the Grand Prairie goal. Grand Prairie now with it. They've got numbers. It's Marinkovic with it. Goes far side. Wilson shot. Scores! of zone face-off draw and after uh, some initial good pressure they get one on the rush and Marinkovic finds his man in front and Zachary Wilson takes his time and just tucks one up high and Grand Prairie now with a 5-3 lead with 11.42 left to go in the second. This is Leach now. He'll dump it in. Go after his own dump in. Gets it out front. There's a shot and a goal. And it's going to be Russell coming in as Adam Leach went the length of the ice. He dumped that puck in, went after it. And some loose defensive play there by Grant Prairie is uh, this did not look at all like it was going to be a dangerous opportunity. As we see, there's the pass from Leach. Bit of a scramble play and uh, just able to shake off his man was Casey Russell Jr. And he fires that puck home. Back to Simpson, near side to Atwell. He crosses the line with speed. Wilson now with the shot. There's the rebound and Doherty finds it. into the period their power play red hot this time it's Doherty picking up the rebound and rifling one home for the hometown storm who will now put six on the board against the 18 against Capetti Capetti cleans him up wins it back trip down low there is Cunningham Canucks control what a save off the post Another opportunity Davidson shot is blocked huge save by Austin Dubinsky and then the rebound goes off the post Grand Prairie dodges a bullet another save by Dubinsky and finally swallowed up in front of Dubinsky here we see the first shot and that's a big toe save and then the second save and that play went right off the post and then a wonderful block there by Logan Cunningham who made his way back to the front of the ice. But watch this stop here. Off the one toe, then off the second toe and tied the net. That was Corbet. He had it go off his stick. And now Pipkin comes down the ice and it's gonna be a penalty shot for Hipkin who has one already tonight, 14 on the year. Here goes Hipkin across the line. Circles back to the near side. Slows down. Hipkin with a shot that gets gloved by Dubinsky, who stood his ground. Austin Dubinsky bails out his defenseman again. And that's a big save for the Storm goalkeeper. And that will take us to our first Puck in deep to Harris. Back to Marinkovic. Marinkovic circles, finds a man inside of the goal, and it's going to be Harris who had come down from his point position. And Marinkovic handled that puck and waited and waited and waited, and Harris just stood there. And finally, Marinkovic uh, found the seam, got it to Harris down low, and the defenseman. Able to chip this one just past Spencer Borsos. And now Grand Prairie has their third three-goal lead of the game off the stick of the defender, Will Harris. Now Will 
Wilson will come out with it. Wilson gets to the line, chips it off the boards. He's got the net empty. There's a shot and a goal! Will Harris! And that's going to do it. And the storm, full marks for the win over the red hot Calgary Canucks. And Grant Prairie pulls back to level 500 with their 14th win of the season in a convincing eight to four fashion. On behalf of the Storm and everyone here at Bonnets Energy Center, ladies and gentlemen, have yourselves a good night.